Police alert tonight. Cummings tried hypnosis to clear her name. Tracy J. Some talk with a guy who did it. She's live in Studio 35. Tracy. Cal, we just got back from Daytona Beach where forensic hypnotist John Gaspar gave us his bottom line on Haley's stepmom, and it is not at all what she was hoping for. Now you can draw your own conclusions because we have the video of that hypnosis from the freelance photographer who taped it for Texas EquiSearch. In a hypnotic or relaxed state, you can pull back one layer at a time to create an avenue for recovering memory. John Gaspar sat down with a 17 year-old stepmom of missing six-year-old Haley Cummings just this week in her hometown of Wallaca. Cummings asked the founder of volunteer search group Texas EquiSearch, Tim Miller, to set up this hypnosis to clear her name. But according to Gaspar, who's been a forensic hypnotist now for more than 30 years for both the New York Police Department and the Flagler Sheriff's Office, this session only seemed to drive home the fact that Cummings is hiding something. What kind of day was February 10th? Cummings not clear here on what day is being referred to. Investigators say she insists sometime before 3 a.m. that morning, while she and Haley slept in the same room, someone came in and took the child. It would have still been dark, no sun. Here's more of what Gaspar believes is not a complete hypnotic state. Give me the best recollection of what you have. That means the best remembrance of what you have, what you remember. Tell me. She started to move or she started to uh, uh, wiggle around in the seat or ask me a question. And that's very uncommon for somebody who's voluntarily attempting to relax to be hypnotized. So overall, your bottom line with Misty Cross and Cummings, do you think she has something to do with the disappearance of Haley? I think she probably knows some things uh, that, not, that are not out there. Miller says he also accommodated Misty by setting up a polygraph and voice analysis. Both administrators say she failed those miserably. Now Miller has turned all this over to the Putnam County Sheriff's Office, who says it hasn't furthered their case, but they're grateful it was all done, they say, because the results confirm what they already believed about Misty, knowing more than she is telling. Tracy Jason, Fox 35.